Hey, so welcome back to another Kajabi tutorial. And in this video, we're going to learn how to integrate Kajabi with Google Tag Manager. Okay, so here are the five things you're going to need before we get started. One, a Kajabi account. Duh. Two, you need a Google account. Now, I'm going to assume you already have a Google account for the simple fact that you're here on YouTube, you're subscribed to my channel, you've commented, you've liked this video, and you've hit the notification bell to be notified each time I post a new video each and every week. Right? Right? Yeah. Three, you're going to need a Google Tag Manager account. Four, the Tag Assistant Chrome extension and five Google Analytics. All right, so let's hop into my computer. Okay, so here we are in Kajabi and the first thing you need to do is add your Google Analytics as I showed you in a previous video and I'm going to link that video in the description below, but you would just go to settings, third parties, and then enter your Google Analytics number. Um, if you don't have Google Analytics, you can just come here, go to Google, search Google Analytics, and you'll see analytics.google.com. You can click here and create your Google Analytics account and get your Google Analytics number. Let me just show you where to find that right quick. So you're going to come down here in the left bottom corner and hit admin. And then from there, you're going to click on properties. Well, actually it's right here. <laughs> um, otherwise I was going to say click on property settings and it will show you your number, but now it's right here. So you're just going to copy that number and go back to Kajabi, hit third party integrations and enter that into Kajabi. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is get the tag assistant Chrome extension. So go back to Google search tag assistant Chrome, and you want the one uh, chrome.google.com tag assistant legacy by Google. So let's click on this one and I already have it installed. So you would just click on this button right here, but it's not going to say remove from Chrome. I already have it. So you're going to click on this. And once you have it installed, you're going to see it right up here. All right. So now that you have that installed, let's go on to the next thing. So what I'm not showing you is how to create a Google account, but you could just follow, you know, along as we did before, go to Google search, click on uh, how to create a Google account and then follow the prompts there. But so right now we're going to do the Google tag manager. So you search Google tag manager and it is the one that says tag manager.google.com. I'm going to have all these links in the description below. And also, if you would like the blog version of this video, then be sure to check that out when it's available. So once you click that link, you're going to see this page right here. Now, I just want to note that if you do not have a Google account, as soon as you click that link, you're going to be prompted to create one. Or if you do have a Google account, but you're signed out of it, then Google's going to require you to sign in before you see this page here. And once you see this page, all you want to do is click on that create account. So let's do that right now. And this is what you're going to see. It's going to look like something like this. So you're just going to add a new account. Now I've already added my um, website, apery.com, but oh, thanks a lot. Like, dude, I seriously don't care. Okay. So I've already added my apery.com, but this is, you know, how you would do it. And all you would do is enter your information. I'm going to put, you know, April T read. LLC. I'm from the United States and my website is www.aprilreed.com. And then I'm going to click on web for desktop and mobile web pages. And then you click on create. And when you do that, that's when you see, um, this page right here. And if you don't see this page, no worries, just click on admin and then you will see this page. And then you're going to click on install Google tag manager. And you're going to get two tags. Uh, this, this first code bit 
here. Uh, you're going to copy that and you're going to go back to Kajabi and we're going to go to settings. And then from settings, we're going to go to site details and we're going to paste this in the head tags. So I'm just, okay, here are my head tags and I'm going to paste it right here at the bottom. As you can see right here, I just pasted it at the bottom because I already have a bunch of other tags. So there that goes. And then when you do that, you want to click on save and then go back to the Google Tag Manager. And then you're going to grab this second set of code right here. Now, this is the code that you place on all of your pages. So if we were to go back to Kajabi and I'm going to click, I'm just going to click on, um, I think I did this before with my, with my blog. So I'm just going to click on blog and I'm going to show you where to paste it, but this is going to be the same for all other pages. So once you do that, you're going to click on settings. Oh wait, duh. Here's right here. Okay. So I'm going to click on custom code and that second tag, I'm going to stick it here in the JavaScript code. Um, Kajabi is a little different. So th this step right here, the second step may or may not be needed, but I'm just doing it anyway, because this is how I would do it for lead pages. This is how I've done it for click funnels. I done it this way. And, um, this is how you would do it for WordPress. Oh, and then there's something else I have to show you. Um, but well, I'll say that when I get there. Okay. So once again, you're going to hit save and let's back out of this. I want to say something right quick. So I have the pro version of Kajabi, I think I have, or no, the growth version. I have the growth version. Um, if you have the pro version, you have the ability to edit code, or if you have the new offer access, you have the ability to edit code. So instead of, um, uh, the second code right here, pasting it in every single page you want it to work, you would go to your, um, go to theme. So go to website and then it's manage themes. And then that will get you here. And then you go to your live theme, click on these three dots right here, click on edit code. But yeah, it wants me to upgrade. But if you have access to edit your code, you can just paste your codes in the actual HTML code. So you would paste it, you know, the first code be, um, within the head tags and then the second code in the body tags, just, whoops, just as it tells you there. And then you don't have to like paste your Google analytics on every single page, uh, the second one here. I just wanted to say that. Okay, so you have that working for you. You have the uh, the first uh, code snippet in your head tags, and you have this in the um, in the custom code of the page you're trying to work with, and in any other page. Um, so then you want to go to work. What is that workspace? And you just want to hit submit, and then you want to preview. And then, like I said, I've already done this, but when you click, when you come here, this should be blank and you're just going to enter your website and you're going to click on connect and it's connecting, 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 connected, and it is connected. Woohoo. Awesome. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yes. Now I remember the tag assistant. So remember that Chrome extension we added to our Chrome browser. Well, that's up here, but whoa, -oh, mine is red. Red is never good. <laughs> so let's click on that and see what is going on. Okay. So we have some Google analytics, um, already on this page. Um, but none of, but these two that are not working, they're not even mine. So I don't even know what that's about. Like, I don't even know what this is, but this is mine right here. The five, six, nine dash one, and it is green. And if my memory serves me right, green means I haven't added a, any particular tags on this page yet. And blue means that everything is installed. So you want, you want, uh, you want this to be blue. 
Uh, I'm just kind of curious. Well, never mind. I won't waste your time. But um, when I was like, okay, Snap Widget. So I have Snap Widget embedded right here. So um, whoever has, I don't know, maybe it's Kajabi's Google <laughs> Analytics. I don't know. Whoever uh, Google Analytics is on here does not like my Snap Widget. But that is no concern of mine because mine is green. Green and blue is good. I'm just kind of curious. So when I go to a different page, uh, such as work with me, that does not have my snag widget. We don't have those problems. So there's there's no snag widget on. So it was probably the snag widgets Google Analytics. It's it's not driving, it's not working. And then my blog, that's where I technically added the second snippet of code. So we're gonna click on the tag man assistant again, and it's it's green. So so we're good. It's, it is connected. All right. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.